a quick super micro teardown. My ex-boss gave me this as I was out the door. I really liked it because it's kind of a nice form. Fits my pocket. It's not so bright that it blinds you. I do have another flashlight hanging from my keychain now though, so I've been going around with two flashlights on my keychain. Because a friend gave me another one that's really, really bright. But this was nice for practical. I must have uh, leaned on it or something left the, the button on because it's totally dead. I've tried charging it in the sunlight for a good long time. I left an extra light bulb last night too and I had nothing at all. So the little lithium battery is called it quits in there. The question is, does solar cell really charge the battery at all? Looks like it's genuine. I can see the lines in there. Is it real or is it just a gimmick? So I'll tear that apart and be right back to you. Kitty cats crawling around. Yes, on top of the laundry machine. Yes, and I'm still using my filter after all these years. Same plan has held true for all these years. The little uh, alert cir circuit was a uh, dud, but I should revisit that someday. I don't have a good filter alarm on it. But other than that, it's been pretty successful. Yeah, you get about a half dozen laundries on it before it needs attention, usually. Anyway, try this apart and come back. Well, that's kind of interesting. It does have a real solar cell in it. It appears to be hooked up. It's my cat rummaging around in the background. So it has a real... I guess I'll have to figure out why it died. Nickel metal hydride batteries, which is kind of a surprise. At least they're rechargeable. It's not any kind of fancy circuit. So I don't really see much of a circuit here. Could it really just be that simple? Well, oh, there might be my problem. Wire broke off. Not sure if it was broken before or not. Sure broke easily if it wasn't broken already. And it's one diode on the PC board. That's about it. Looks like the uh, LEDs are all in parallel. And um, it's simply battery directly to, you know, except for the diode, battery right to the uh, panel. And then a switch to the LEDs. That's about it. Soldered it back on. I presume it goes to the other side of the diode from the solar cell. The diode's there to protect the uh, battery from discharging through the solar cell when it's dark. Well, my little soldering job didn't work too well. We have to try to strip it a little better. You can find these really cheap, like a dollar sometimes. I suggest getting one if you see them. It's not as universal as it's supposed to be, but uh, it's very, very good for some tasks. Like little ribbon cables and stuff like that. Nothing else can really do it right. But this will automatically strip this. I gotta use two hands though. I don't have my tripod. Right back. So there it is, a little better soldering job. And uh, oh, I overstripped it though. Ended up using this kind of stripper. But I overstripped it. Other than that, it's a nice hot solder job. Other side of the diode. Diode, switch, battery, three LEDs in parallel, and of course the solar cell. That's all that's really to it. And looky there, it already works. So that was the problem. And it's not even discharged, so I don't have to charge it even. It's got the little holes and pins, so it should go back together. Cool. This is just an approximate circuit. I didn't actually trace it out, to be honest with you. Basically, you'll have a solar cell. It's a little more voltage than the uh, battery needs for full charge, enough to make up for the difference of the diode. That they're using as a check valve, sort of. That's just to keep the uh, solar cell from draining the battery down at night when there's no charge coming out of the... It doesn't become just a resistive load on the battery and knock it down. So that's just like a check valve. Then you should three diodes in parallel and an on off switch. That's, you know, momentary contact switch. So that's it. I didn't analyze whether it was a silicon diode or a shocky silicon diode or even a germanium diode any of which would work they just have to make sell the right amount of voltage to overcome that and give you the right charging voltage